Okay, hello, 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 hello. Got me? Got me in the back there? All right, good. Very cool. All right, welcome back from lunch, everybody. We've got the tech set up. Everyone's having their seats there. Uh, good luck having that bean burrito uh, with queso on the side settle in your stomach. Now, uh, anyhow, coming up here, we uh, so far we've talked a little bit about attraction, meeting women, stuff. This next guy coming to the stage all the way from Boston, about to make a move to Texas, uh, is going to talk about what's going on in the bedroom. Boom. Right, uh, right down to the good stuff. And it's his first time speaking here at the 21 convention. And uh, coming around, you'll find a piece of paper where he's going to give you a special discount um, distributed by our lovely assistant, Christina. Uh, she's going to be giving you a paper that will pretty much lay out how you get a 50% discount on his book, Sex God Method. If anything, he's humble. Now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, Daniel Rose. Give it up. What's up, guys? OK, so in my presentation today, I'm going to be talking about sexual confidence. Uh, my book, The Sex Guy Method, covers all aspects of sex. Um, and at the end, I would like you to invest in it. But in this one, uh, I'd like to deliver a ton of value to you guys and give you some like really, really good stuff, which you can take away and uh, build sexual confidence with. And I don't just want to give you a speech where you, know, you hear a speech and you get entertained. Um, I want you to have some written action steps which you guys are going to take and which are individualized and customized to you. Um, so ideally, as a result of this speech, you guys will be uh, doing a couple things which are going to directly improve your sexual confidence. So in this presentation, we're going to cover, number one, why I have come to believe that sexual confidence is the number one most important thing for uh, dating, okay, for uh, picking up women, and also for, uh, you know, obviously for giving women orgasms in the bedroom. Um, now, I believe that if you don't have sexual confidence, then it's going to be virtually impossible to give women orgasms, and it's going to be virtually impossible to attract them. So obviously, it's some really important stuff. Uh, number two, I'm going to show you my radical new model of how sexual confidence is built. Why I believe that all methods of building sexual confidence in the past were wrong, and how they actually make your sexual confidence worse. Um, I'm going to show you the new way which I've used, and which some of my students have used, which we've gotten some great results from. Uh, number three, we're going to talk about six counterintuitive strategies to improve your sexual confidence, uh, to make you feel better about yourself in the bedroom, and to make you more masculine and more sexually attractive. And finally, kind of as a part of this, I'm going to work in some hard and fast techniques for giving women orgasms and giving them really incredible pleasure. So, get some good stuff. But first, I'd like to kick this off by asking you guys a question. How many of you guys, at any point, have ever been insecure about the size of your penis? Stand up and raise your hand. <laughs> that was good. For everybody who had the courage to stand up and raise your hand, I really give you props. Because I like, to, I like to do little experiments like this a lot of the times when I talk. And I find that the guys who you know, have the courage to admit that they have had insecurities about the size of their penis are actually the most sexually confident. Um, but there were like five guys in this entire room who stood up and raised their hand. But I think we all know that every guy, regardless of how big it actually is, has had insecurities about that at one time or another. Um, and then, you know, like every guy like, has thought about it at one time or the other. And then for some guys, it's so bad that, you know, they're buying extents <laughs> and like the, the penis pumps and all the enlargers and stuff like that. Um, but every guy has thought about it at one point or another, but we have difficulty even admitting it. We have difficulty even talking about it. And this brings up a really important issue that uh, I think is holding a lot of guys back with sexual confidence. We as men, especially men in America, it's socially unacceptable for us to even begin talking about issues which pertain to our sexual confidence. It's socially unacceptable for us to even think about them or to even admit to ourselves that we might need help in one of these areas. Um, and this creates a big problem. Because sexual confidence, I believe, is the number one most important thing. And if you can't talk about it with anybody, I mean, if you can't even think about it to yourself, uh, this, it's a problem because you can never make it better. So the first thing which I would ask of you guys uh, going into this presentation is to come in with a really open mind and to, uh, and to recognize that uh, a lot of men have problems in this area, but they have difficulty admitting it. Um, I want you to think about where could I improve my sexual confidence? Where could I improve my sexual skills? And uh, don't just think that you know it all, which is the classic mistake that many men make. Um, 
So that's the first thing I wanted to point out about sexual confidence. Come in with an open mind and realize that every guy can, uh, can stand to benefit from learning this stuff. So, uh, why do I really believe that sexual confidence is so important? Um, well, when I first started teaching sex, I noticed that when guys were coming to me, what they wanted was the technique. They wanted to know the way to move their fingers. You know, they wanted to know uh, the sex position that's automatically going to give her orgasms. Or uh, they wanted to know, uh, you know, like 27 different techniques for oral sex. And at the beginning, I would teach this stuff because that stuff helps. I mean, it's good to know. It's good to know, like, different ways to give oral sex. Um, you know, it's good to know different sex positions. But ultimately, if you're not a sexually attractive guy, it's not going to make the difference for you. You know, if you know 25 different sex positions and you're a nerd, you're an even bigger nerd. <laughs> I mean, it's really not going to help if you know a lot of techniques, but you don't have the sexual confidence to back it up. So this is why I believe that sexual confidence is so important in the bedroom. Once you have attained sexual confidence, you can use pretty much any technique you want. And she's going to like it. You're going to give women orgasms. It's going to be a really pleasurable experience for you and her. Um, or if you want, you could use no technique at all and just make it feel good for you and make it feel good for her, and that's going to be great sex. Um, and another thing which I've noticed is that ever since I started teaching sex, I wasn't really focused on the pickup and dating side so much, but I noticed that the more I approved the bed and the more sexual confidence I got, the better my results with women got. Um, I was the type of guy who, before I got into all this stuff, I had a lot of what's called, uh, quote, inner game issues, where I would get super nervous when I was going to talk to a girl. Um, when I was going to, like, get her phone number, I would, like, <laughs> like, freeze up and then not go for it. When I was going to kiss her, you know, I would get, like, super nervous, and I knew that was my opportunity, but somehow I just couldn't pull the trigger. Uh, when I was going to have sex with her and sexually escalate, I would, like, uh, like freeze up. I wouldn't know what to do. Um, and I would just have all these, quote, inner game problems. And I, for a long time, I really wondered what was at the root of this. Why was I always freezing up? And why did it seem to not go away even when I got more experience? And finally, I, uh, I determined it was because of this. It was because I lacked the sexual confidence, OK? I knew that ultimately, before I learned this stuff, I would disappoint a girl if I succeeded. So a part of me didn't really want the success because I didn't want to experience you know, that type of sexual disappointment and uh, feeling bad about myself. So I was sabotaging myself. All right, And pickup and dating, I was sabotaging myself. And many guys are doing this. And if you look at your own behavior, you may be doing this to a certain extent, too. So by improving your sexual confidence, you may be able to eliminate some self-sabotage. Um, and finally, as we talked about before, if you don't have the sexual confidence, no techniques really matter. Uh, they're not going to make the difference. So, here are a few different ways that you may have heard of to build sexual confidence in the past. Uh, affirmations, NLP, EFT, hypnosis, and the old standby, fake it till you make it. Uh, what I want to tell you guys is that these ways are not recommended. I don't think that these ways are going to build any sexual confidence. In fact, I believe that these are actually going to make your, uh, your sexual confidence worse rather than better. Uh, basically, I believe sexual confidence is built through action. Uh, not just indiscriminate action, but action on a few specific things. And I think that if your way of building sexual confidence involves, uh, you know, like sitting in a chair and like imagining stuff, or if it's like an acronym or like a buzzword, uh, probably not going to work. Uh, action, I think, is where it's at, not imagining stuff. Um, and I feel the reason why they, that these ways don't work is that they're based on uh, self-deception. Uh, they're basically based on fooling yourself. Um, I did affirmations for years, and affirmations are basically telling yourself something which isn't currently true. And I think that this can be very, uh, very damaging, first of all, because most guys fail. I mean, you can look around, most guys doing this stuff never get any sexual confidence, over 95%. So there's a very high failure rate. And also, guys who have built their confidence through self-deception, um, frequently what happens is they attract women who have also built their confidence from self-deception who are energy vampires and uh, who may look good, but who will really damage your life. So uh, frequently, even if you succeed with this type of thing, it's not the type of success that you would really want to have. Um, also, I really truly believe that lying to yourself in any way is the worst thing you can do for your self-esteem and for your sexual confidence. Because I feel that sexual confidence is the feeling of being sure that you're a man of high sexual value to her. And the key word is sure. 
Once you start lying to yourself, though, you can never really be sure about anything. I mean, how do you know if you're really sexually valuable or if that was just another thing you were telling yourself? So it undermines the feeling of being sure, which is why I really don't recommend any of these methods. Um, another thing which, uh, another mistake I want to point out before we go into actually what to do is a lot of guys think of this as inner game. Um, I really feel that you should remove the words inner game from your vocabulary. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, first of all, inner game implies a non-sexual confidence and the belief that a non-sexual confidence is going to improve your sex life. Um, in my experience, it does not. If you're confident in your business skills, if you're confident in your artistic skills, it's good to have that type of confidence, but I know a lot of guys who have great business skills, who have great artistic skills, who are confident in many other areas of their life who, don't, who, aren't, who aren't having very much sex. And I know guys who, you know, who's other aspects of their life are a total failure and they're having great sex lives. Um, social skills. Social confidence is definitely better than having no confidence at all. Uh, it can definitely help to get you in the door. But I know a lot of guys who have fantastic social skills, uh, far better than myself, who are not having very good sex at all, who have uh, you know, a lot of friends who can do some very impressive stuff to impress other guys and they have a lot of girls around them, but at the end of the day, their sex life is not that good. So I believe that if you want to have a great sex life, you need sexual confidence. It just makes sense. I mean, if you want to have a great business, you need confidence in your business skills. Uh, you know, if you want to have a great social life, you need confidence in your social skills. You want to have great sex life, you don't need inner game. You need sexual confidence. Um, and the other thing, as we touched on before, inner game contains the word game, which implies like tricking and self-deception again. Uh, basically using techniques to trick yourself into being confident when there's no real basis for that. So, uh, I really feel inner game is a very bad concept. Remove it from your vocabulary, replace it with sexual confidence. All right, so the only thing which I feel is gonna build real, authentic sexual confidence is uh, what I call sexual value signals. Uh, sexual value signals are basically signals sent not to your conscious mind, but to your subconscious, what I call uh, your caveman mind. And back before you know, humans developed civilization and language and all that, these sexual value signals were how you determine uh, kind of your, your sexual status within the tribe. Um, these are frequently irrational. They're not totally uh, based on what your sexual value in today's society actually is. Uh, however, these sexual value signals have an extremely powerful effect on your sexual confidence. Uh, these are basically what determine your sexual confidence. And they have an effect on your sexual confidence which you cannot control. Um, they're gonna affect your sexual confidence in the way that they are, you know, whether you want them to or not, whether you think it makes sense or not. Uh, now, this is how guys can develop, uh, you know, sexual confidence just through experience and not through doing anything consciously. Uh, basically what's happening is they're getting a lot of positive experience and you know, naturally as a course of that, they're getting a lot of sexual value signals from women and from their social group. Um, however, uh, this can work. I mean, this is definitely far better than trying to get sexual confidence by imagining stuff, but it's a slow process, as anybody will tell you. Uh, it's gonna take years, and I feel that if there's any way you can, you should accelerate your building of sexual confidence as much as possible. So. Let's talk about kind of a very negative cycle that a lot of guys get trapped in, uh, kind of like a dry spell. Um, I'm sure everybody has experienced this at one point or another. You get some kind of negative sexual feedback from a woman. Uh, maybe it's not a big deal at first, but just kind of makes you feel a little down on yourself and your sexuality. Uh, and this causes your sexual confidence to go down. So you get even worse sexual feedback, in turn leading to less sexual confidence, in turn leading to even worse sexual feedback, and becomes a cycle which is very, very difficult to escape. And this is the first thing you have to understand about sexual confidence. It is not a cause and effect phenomenon. A lot of people think that they can do one thing and their sexual confidence will go up a little bit. And do another thing and it's going to go up a little bit. And do another thing and go up a little bit. It doesn't really work that way. Um, really it's more like a cycle where you do one thing and at first it's very difficult and you're probably not going to see any perceptible difference at all and you do another thing and another thing and another thing, and the first like, beginning months are extremely hard. And this is why a lot of guys quit, because they don't realize it's not gonna be that hard forever. The first few months are always gonna be the hardest. And once you've attained success, I mean, who in here has ever talked to a guy who's a natural with women, and he's like, man, getting girls is so hard, I gotta put so much work into it, this is such a pain in the ass. I mean, who is, what natural has ever said that? I mean, nobody has, because it's not hard once you've gotten there. 
I mean, um, once, once you naturally have a lot of sexual confidence, it feeds, on your, it feeds on itself, and you become more sexually confident without doing anything, just because the cycle is going so strongly. So uh, if you're in this place right now, I want you to realize that only the first few months are going to be really hard. If you can just make it past that, then uh, it gets much easier. So let's talk about uh, how, I, uh, how I feel you can develop sexual confidence faster. Um, I feel that ultimately the way to develop sexual confidence is through action, but not just through indiscriminate action, not just through like indiscriminately trying to get more, more sex. Um, I feel that certain parts of sex and certain parts of uh, dating and pickup have a really massively disproportionate effect on the sexual confidence because these parts send a large amount of sexual value signals which our subconscious caveman mind interprets as uh, being very important for our sexual worth. Um, the key, I think, to developing sexual confidence and getting better in bed faster than a lot of other guys is identifying what these uh, disproportionately impactful parts of the interaction are and then really focusing on mastering those parts. Um, and I feel by doing things that way, you can master this in months while it's going to take most guys years and years. So here are a few examples of what I mean by this. Um, I feel that one of the most important parts of sex is after play or building an emotional connection after sex. Uh, Heather Havenwood, who's a female sexuality and dating expert, uh, she told me something which I didn't forget, which is...